Alright, I am 17 hours into fasting, and this is one of the best times during a typical fast that I feel. I was thinking about fasting during this holiday season, which obviously brings about its own set of challenges. Cold weather usually doesn't bode well with fasting, and also having to deal with various holiday situations, especially this year. Last year, we were still very slow, and it was a lot easier to... I, I'm so happy that I had that chance to practice last year when things were slower. And I got to take it one step at a time, right? This year will probably be different. Now, one thing I love about fasting is that I'm much more tolerant of things, right? I'm, I'm going to talk about a couple examples of when I finally broke the fast and it didn't turn out the way I had hoped. I had been fasting... 17 hours one time and I was about to break the fast. I had gone to my favorite grocery store to get my favorite food and the guy in front of me was having such a hard time using the self-checkout machine. Very frustrating. And I went up to help him. This was in, I want to say April or May of 2020 when people were still panicking and I momentarily forgot that we had the social distance and I got up to the machine to help him and he got very upset and screamed an obscenity at me. And when he screamed and he screamed at me like that, I lost my appetite. And in my mind, I'm thinking, thank you, because I, I wanted to continue that fast. And so I backed away. I let him finish. I lost my appetite anyway, so now I could just let him finish. And he got out to the door of the grocery store, and I waved at him saying, thank you. You know, I'm on a diet, and, you know, thank you for uh, taking my appetite away. And he got so upset, he put his middle finger up and said, fuck you. Now, I really was pleased that I had lost my appetite again. I think I ended up doing a 20-hour fast when I would have broken it at 17. Unfortunately, I, I, I probably chose not the best way to let him know about how pleased I was about all this. He was probably upset that um, he was worried that I might have just given him COVID or... He might have been upset about other things or having anxiety problems. I mean, back in April 2020, a lot of people were dealing with anxiety, right? Everybody was looking for somebody to, to, to lash out at, and he found his opportunity, and he shouted, fuck you, and he was happy about that, I guess, and I was happy that I extended my fast three more hours, so I like to think it was a good win-win situation. I have a, fav a couple favorite restaurants here in the Redmond area that I discovered during the pandemic, sometimes I'll fast in advance of going to the restaurant because food tastes just a whole lot better when you're fasted. Now the problem is I have dietary restrictions and sometimes you get a busy staff and they forget and the food comes out wrong. You know, when I'm fasted like that, I tend to be more happy-go-lucky and laugh about, ah, oh, that's too bad, and laugh with the people about it. Had I not been fasting and just going out to eat and the food comes out wrong, I tend to be more upset, actually. I had a very upsetting situation when I was working on my PhD. This was long before I ever did intermittent fasting. I had a couple classmates who understood that I had dietary restrictions, and they were gonna, this was during a holiday party, and they were going to prepare food that would be suitable for me. I think two classmates of mine, we had talked about it, and they, they went to great lengths to do it, actually. And so I think it was some kind of turkey, some kind of, uh, I can't remember the exact details. Now, I had, it, it was very nicely done. Unfortunately, I only got one small plate before something happened. I'll let you pause the video to think about what upsetting situation happened. Another one of our classmates brought in something that wasn't suitable for me, and he dumped it right on my friend's dish. Now... I'm very upset, not only for myself, but I'm upset, I, I, I feel badly about my other classmate who I went to great lengths to prepare all this, only to have this happen, and so I, I, I walked out of the party because I knew I was upset and I didn't want to do something that would embarrass myself. I was driving, uh, uh, what kind of car was I driving at the time, uh, Mazda Tribute, it was my dad's car. I was so upset when I got out to, to my car, I kicked the side of the door and to put a big dent in the car, because I was upset. Obviously, I wasn't upset about the car, but the car took, took the scapegoat for the situation.
That's what happens when I'm not in a fasted state. When I'm in a fasted state, that could have been a great educational moment. You know, it's one thing when people are ignorant about dietary preferences and, and dietary restrictions, but then when you sit down with these people and they, their attitude is, I don't care, it's never bothered me before, oh my God, that, that will kill me. I mean, it's one thing, oh my God, I didn't realize, can I learn something about it? Versus, that's not my problem, I've never gotten sick eating any of this stuff. Anyways, uh, every time the holiday season comes and holiday parties come, it's always a great story. It's always a great way to give somebody a litmus test, which camp they belong in, right? Do they not care or do they want to learn more, right?